Hello, beautiful. A lot of my lovely women out there, and even men who watch this, um, you guys are such giving people. You guys are so giving. And it's like, a lot of the times I get asked, like, where do you get your confidence from? Like, I could have never done that. Like, where is all this confidence? And like, how do you have so much energy? A lot of my energy and my confidence comes from a few years of really turning the love that I would give outwardly to people, searching for that love and other people um, that I was yearning for to me. I turned that love that I was giving others who didn't really appreciate the love that I had to give into me. If there's one person who's going to appreciate my love, it's going to be me, especially when I turned it inwards. There's a lot of people out there who think that if you give this love out to someone that it's going to be returned and that's not always the case it's like you're searching you're yearning for like intimate connections with others and you're hoping to not be hurt by giving or people pleasing or whatever it might be and you find that you're drained you're drained because of all the relationships in your life and how the relationships in your life are not very beneficial to you because they're like energy vampires are surrounding you. They see your light and they want that light and they want to consume that light and yet once they consume it they don't want to reciprocate it back because they're so dim themselves. So that happens a lot with my wounded impasse and it's it is like a people pleasing program that is within you internally. How do you switch that around? How do you switch around going from like drained all the time, having drained relationships to feeling energized and having intimate loving relationships with people? And what I say is turn that love that you give outwardly to everyone to you. Start telling yourself that you're worthy, you're awesome. Whatever energy that you're putting out, put it into you. Put your hands over your heart space a lot of the time if you're not feeling loved or safe or secure within your own being. And turn that love to you. Give yourself the attention. Why is it that you can't work on your goals? Why is it that you can't work, for example, on your own like fitness and your health? You're stuck eating junk food all the time while say like your kids are eating like nicer foods or your husband or um, your friends or whatever it might be. Like you'll cook for your friends but you won't cook it for yourself. You'll cook for your coworkers when there's a potluck or someone else is involved but you won't cook yourself any healthy meals. You'd rather be so busy and not say no to people that you don't have the time to go to the gym. You don't have the time to do anything because you're doing everything else for everyone else. You're not setting your boundaries with other people. That's really important to remember is you're okay to set boundaries and it's okay to say no. Whenever you're saying no to other people, you're saying yes to yourself. You're saying yes to you. It's important to also note that not everyone's going to appreciate it. Everyone um, in your life may shift and turn and you might have totally different people once you start setting these boundaries. And you have to be okay with letting that go. You have to be okay with all this work that you put into these relationships to just let them go because they're not beneficial for you. They're draining you. And if someone is not allowing you to set these boundaries and it's not really good, it's not good for you and it's not good for your energy. And think about it, it's like when you're in that state of abundance and that overflow, how much easier it is going to give to other people from that abundance state, that overflow, than it is from a low battery. This is something for you to remember and ponder about and see how you're being and how your boundaries are. And if you have energy vampires or you notice you're drained after hanging out with someone, that's a great indication of how they're probably using up your energy. And if you're drained, you're drained. Start getting in tune with your body and start listening to yourself and give yourself the love that you deserve. Alrighty, that's it for this video. I will talk to you soon.